Welcome to this link training video. In this video we're going to be discussing how to set up the CAN communication between a Link G4 Plus ECU or a Vipec I series ECU and the Race Technology Dash 2 Pro. We're going to assume that you have already physically installed both devices and have them wired up and we're now going to talk about the setup of the Dash and then later the ECU. The first step in setting up the Dash 2 Pro is going to be going to the Race Technology website and downloading their latest software package. If you go to the website, click on the downloads link and then click on the software downloads link. You'll then see down towards the bottom you can download version 8.5. Click the link to begin the download and then once the file is downloaded install the software. After installing the Race Technologies software, restart your PC. Once the PC is back up and running, Plug in the dash to the laptop or PC that you're using and turn on the power to the dash. Make sure the CAN communication wires are disconnected from the ECU's communication port. After installing the Race Technologies software, restart your PC. Once the PC is back up and running, plug in the dash to the laptop or PC that you're using and turn on the power to the dash. Next, start up the Race Technology software. Once the software is started up, you'll see on the right hand side a menu where you can select Dash 2 Pro and select Configure. You have an option here to register if you like, otherwise you can press Cancel. Next, you have to select an option from this menu. Select Load Standard Factory Configuration. The Dash 2 Pro configuration software will now be open. The first thing we want to check up here is in the title bar of the software. Make sure that you have version 4.0.61 or later. The next thing we're going to want to do is flash new firmware into the Dash. The first step of that is making sure that we have the correct communication port selected. Normally if you only have the Dash plugged into your laptop, you'll only have one option. To load the firmware, click File, Reflash Dash 2 Pro Firmware, and select the latest version from the drop down menu. Then select, click Reflash. You may get a message telling you the registry setting has to be changed. Click OK for this. The reflashing can take a couple of minutes. Once the um, file has been flashed into the Dash successfully, you'll get a message telling you so. The next step is click File, Load Configuration, and select the Dash 2 Pro file that comes installed in the CAN subdirectory of your PC Link G4 Plus. Once the configuration file has opened in the Dash 2 Pro software, click Send Configuration. This is going to send the profile out to the Dash and store it in the Dash. You may get some warning messages pop up during part of this process. If you do, click continue anyway. Sending this out can take a couple of minutes. Once the configuration has been sent out to the Dash, you will get a message telling you so. The Dash configuration is now done, so turn off the power to the Dash, remove the USB cable from your laptop and shut down the software. Now it's time to configure the ECU for sending data out to the Dash 2 Pro. To do this, make sure you've got PC Link for G4 Plus installed. You can find the latest version of this at linkecu.com. Click on Software and Support, then PC Link Downloads. On the download page, select the version at the top. This is always going to be the latest version. Insert the tuning cable between the ECU and your laptop, and turn on the power to the ECU. Next, start up PC Link for G4 Plus. Press F3 to connect to the ECU and select ECU controls CAN setup. In the CAN setup window select the CAN module that you have got the Dash 2 Pro wired to. Select mode and set it to user defined. Make sure the bit rate is set to 1 megabit per second. Next select channel 1 
and set it to transmit dash two pro. Set the ID to 1000 and click apply and OK. Remember to press F4 to store the data to the ECU. So that's all there is to configuring the ECU in the Dash 2 Pro. Now what you need to do is connect the CAN cable from the Dash 2 Pro to the ECU's communication port and you should be able to see the data coming through from the ECU to the Dash 2 Pro. If you are having any problems, in PC Link, press the R key to open the Runtime Values window and go to the CAN tab. Have a look in the CAN 1 or CAN 2 status depending on which one you used and make sure there are no errors present.